our company's name is Shugai Farm Model Research, so we call CPR. So we are in a, a member of Roche Group. So I think you know the company called Roche. So Roche is a, a global top uh, number one uh, pharmaceutical company. And the Roche and Genentech and Chugai as a member of Roche Group. And CPR uh, is subsidiary of Chugai. And Chugai is known to be a number one biotech uh, drug discovery company in Japan. And we are very uh, globally known as an antibody engineering company. And this is our com my, uh, company, CPR, Chugai Family Research. So our mission is to create antibody drug clinical candidates using uh, some of our proprietary antibody engineering technology to solve our med medical needs. So Chugai is a uh, quite old company. Uh, so we started to work on the protein drug from 1980s. And we first worked on these cytokines, like erythropoietin or GCSF. So we first worked on these proteins to make this cytokine as a drug. And we successfully launched uh, erythropoietin and uh, GCSF to the market. From 1990s, uh, we started to work on uh, monoclonal antibodies uh, to try to make an uh, antibody into a drug. So during this uh, 1990s, uh, we worked on an antibody against uh, IL-6 receptor, and we successfully launched uh, this product in 2005 or something. So in two, uh, 1990s to 2000, we worked on the first generation monoclonal antibodies. So these antibodies bind to the target and usually inhibit the target, right? It's an antagonist. Uh, this is an antibody against uh, interleukin-6 receptor. So this antibody binds to the IL-6 receptor and inhibits the IL-6 interleukin-6 to bind to its receptor. So it's an antagonist against IL-6 receptor. It's now used for the treatment of uh, various autoimmune diseases. So this, we call this kind of drug, the antagonist drug is a, a, the first generation monoclonal antibodies. And in my uh, later part of today's talk, uh, I will talk about uh, this second generation monoclonal antibodies. So it is, these drugs are not just binding to an antigen. So I will talk about the bispecific antibody and uh, the recycling antibody. So this is a very new type of antibody. It's not just uh, antagonist antibody. Our um, strategy is that if there is an unmet medical needs, and if we have a very you know, innovative idea to treat that, uh, overcome that medical needs, we go for it. So as a member of Roche Group, uh, CPR is focused on creating innovative antibody drug using the proprietary antibody engineering technologies, such as bispecific antibody and recycling antibody, to solve the unmet medical needs. So antibody consists of two heavy chains, blue chain here, and two light chains here. And combination of these two heavy chain, two light chains forms this Y-shaped molecule called uh, IgG antibodies. And this antibody can bind to uh, antigens with this each arms like this. And this antibody, bi antibody binding to the antigen uh, can be used uh, to treat uh, many various diseases. The antibody, monoclonal antibody has uh, excellent characteristic as a drug. So mainly there are three points. So first one, uh, it has a very highly specific binding to the target antigen. The second one, very long half-life. And the third point, the uh, recombinant manufacturing by mammary cells. So these three aspects are the very important features uh, of the antibodies. Uh, what is bispecific antibody? Right? So the conventional antibody, as I mentioned, looks like this. So the, the antibody is Y-shaped and has two binding sites for the target antigen. And as you can see, this both arm for conventional antibody binds to the same target. So in this blue antibody binds to target A or antigen A by both arm. And this red, pink uh, antibody binds to target B with both arm. So this is conventional antibody. Bispecific antibody looks like this. So in this case, the left arm binds to antigen A, and the right arm 
binds to antigen B like this. So one antibody molecule can bind to two different targets, right? With this kind of bispecific antibody, um, we can do many things. The easiest thing that you can imagine is that uh, with this kind of molecule, uh, so this blue antibody, right, can, for example, can, be, can inhibit or antagonize target A. And this can antagonize target B. This molecule, uh, if you com put this together like this, this bispecific antibody can inhibit both A and B. So this may be very good, right? Because if the disease, some disease, is mediated by this A and B, blocking both may be a good approach, right? Something having a new mode of action, uh, which the combination of two monoclonal antibodies cannot achieve. So this bispecific antibody itself is not new anymore, but the, this the bispecific antibody, that is the only drug currently approved in the world for the treatment. All the other bispecific antibodies are still in the discovery phase or phase one study. Actually, we are looking for who works on immunology, oncology, protein structure, protein analysis, and also mathematical modeling. Yeah, those are the, the expertise that yeah, we are looking for. Yeah. Especially because we are an uh, antibody engineering company, the protein, understanding protein, protein experts. And we have a lot of program in the immunology, cancer immunotherapy, so the immunology. If you are interested in antibody drug discovery, uh, please visit our company. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.